first things first, you have a new podcast that so many fans are so excited for, but you have to tell us what can we expect from this new podcast from you? You know, I really just wanted to connect with people and it's something that I've been working on like through the pandemic and when Tom and I went on our book tour for fancy AF cocktails and we were out all over the country meeting people, I would just get lost in conversation and there'd be like a line of people at a book signing and someone would have to say like, Ariana, there's like 200 people waiting. Like you can't talk to everybody about their life story, but I just get lost like that. Or, you know, out um, at a bar on a Friday night, I'm like, making friends with someone in the corner and we're talking about our childhoods and it's just like you know it's been this thing that has been happening for so long and I was just you know wanted to be able to continue that and during the pandemic not being able to be out and about and meeting people meeting fans of the show meeting you know fans uh, that would come into the restaurants I really wanted this to be a way to almost recreate that and I'm really hoping that through me talking to people that I'm a huge fan of and then getting to talk to people who maybe are a fan of me or of that person as well, that we can all connect. We love it. I love to hear the connection of it all. So basically, you're going to have people on the show with you. You're going to talk, chit chat, and then you'll have, will you open it up to like, fan questions so right now we have started a voicemail basically Ooh. where everyone can if you go it's on speakpipe and there's a link to it on my website that is earth to ariana.com and you can leave me a voicemail you can confess your deepest darkest secret you can tell me a story and hopefully you'll be featured on the podcast and depending on the story, there's definitely going to, I have a feeling going to be a few people that I'm going to want to actually have on as a guest okay. because they're just that interesting. People are so much more interesting than they think they are. I feel, yes, they're always so much more interesting. Everyone has a story that needs to be told. Yeah. I feel like so many times I meet people who will say, Oh, my, you don't want to hear about my life. You know, you're, you're on TV. My life is boring. And then they'll proceed to tell me that they, you know, are an underwater firefighter or that they, you know, teach teenagers, the meanest people on the planet. And I'm like, that is not boring at all. I actually want to hear everything about it. Oh, I love it. I truly do. And do you think any of your Vanderpump Rules co-stars might make an appearance on the podcast? possibly you know never say never and of course I find people that I'm on the show with very interesting as yeah, well all very so, interesting. and I always feel like there's always like the other story yeah that people don't know or something about them growing up that people don't know because it happened so long before the show right. that it's not something that gets talked about very often that ends up in my opinion being like a really interesting thing about that person that's so true. Now, have you guys started filming the new season yet? No, not yet. Okay. But you guys have been picked up for. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's sure been announced. Been yeah. 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 I was about to say, I'm like, wait, I feel like it's for sure that you guys are coming back. Yeah. <laughs> but it does seem like when you guys do start filming that it's going to be kind of emotional this time around because, you know, we have Katie and Tom's divorce. Being a friend of both of them, how have you been like navigating that situation? Well, I want to make sure that both of them know that, you know, I love and care about both of them. I definitely think that there's been with them moving out of their house. And I know it's a lot of emotional turmoil and stuff that like, I don't want to encroach, you know, I want to kind of give people space to, you know, let me know, like, Hey, I'm ready to you know, <laughs> hang out. I don't want to bombard anyone with stuff because I know that that can be really overwhelming. I mean, I get emotionally overwhelmed when I have like too many things to do in a day, you know, so I can only imagine what they're going through, but I always just want them both to know that they're loved and have them both feel included. And hopefully, you know, I can play 
almost like cheerleader when we hang out and just yeah. make sure that it's a fun time and be a source of positivity for them. I mean, obviously divorce is never easy, never easy, but fans have been noticing that the two of them do seem to be getting along great, like, but you know, without each other. Well, I think, I think one thing that's very clear throughout this breakup process with them is that they do really love and care about each other. And, you know, ultimately maybe they're not right for each other to be in a relationship, but I definitely think that they want to maintain a friendship. Right. Okay. Besides them, uh, where do you see with Lala? I remember last season, you guys kind of had your ups and your downs and your ups and your downs. Where do you guys stand going into filming and who knows a couple of weeks or a couple months? Right. We're in an up right now. Okay. (laughs) So I think that's one thing with me and Lala over the years is that we love hard and we fight hard with each other. I definitely see her as someone that, you know, when we are together, we have a really fun time and we can have really wonderful times together. And I always want her and her daughter Ocean to be happy and healthy. And I want good things for them. But then, you know, there's some times where me or her says something that the other one doesn't like and we address it. (laughs) Sometimes that gets, you know, to be yelling at each other, but at least we work through our stuff, I guess. I was about to say, at least you're addressing it and not just talking behind each other's backs. Like it could be. (laughs) Uh, Now, uh, the other like kind of big drama surrounding Vanderpump rules is with the alumni because Saucy had her wedding and no one was there. I mean, Katie and Tom were actually there, but no one else was there. Were you surprised that you didn't get an invite to the wedding? No, Stassi had big major plans for her original wedding and she actually got married over the pandemic in Schwartz and Katie's backyard. So this was just like a party, I guess, but she wanted to pare it down to 35 people and no. So like once it went from like regular wedding size to 35 people size, you know, it's fine. (laughs) Um, Yeah. I mean, I feel like I know Brittany and her now have like a falling out. I don't know. You know, it's like so much to keep track of. I don't know. It always is. <laughs> so, there is always so much. Now, a lot of people do want her to come back next season. Do you think she'll come back, Stassi? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, not that I'm aware of in any capacity. No. Okay. I know the fans are always just so crazy, but the fans do have your podcast, which we're so excited for, um, you know, just give us like one word. How would you describe the podcast in just one mm. word? Cozy. Cozy. Yeah. I really want it to feel like we're all just at a sleepover together and we're just talking about this random crazy stuff that we're fans of and like really just cuddling up together with a cocktail. I have a cocktail recipe for every episode and hopefully people will be at home, like making the cocktails along with us and getting cozy and just relaxing and having a fun time. And then being like, wait, I have a story I want to tell her. (laughs) My podcast is earth to Ariana. You can find it wherever you listen to podcasts. I'm with dear media earth to Ariana it's a picture of me. It looks really cute. And if you go to earth to ariana.com, that's where you can leave me a message and you can find an episode guide on there with links to all of the fun stuff that we talk about in every episode. 